15,000 customers. Some of this goes back to 1979. Uh, most of it occurred around 2004. 15,000 customers, 100,000 accounts. Are you worried about systemic issues at this bank, at this juncture, as you uncover more problems? No, I don't, I don't think this is a systemic issue. Uh, I think this is an important issue in relation to how you treat your customers and, and the confidence of customers in that the information they get from the bank is right. But, but it's not a systemic issue. Uh, uh, nevertheless, uh, uh, given the things which have popped up in the media, uh, we are looking into whether the things that the bank mm -hmm. has er uh, earlier told us about what was happening uh, is consistent with, with the new information which is out there. And when we know more about it, we, we have a better sense of the scale of, of, of the event. What level of redress is available to you on this kind of issue? Is it fines or, or other levels of redress, sir? It depends very much on what specifically has happened. Uh, if... Uh, uh, what they've told us earlier uh, is consistent with, with uh, what they knew. Uh, then, uh, uh, mm -hmm. the, uh, and, and they're handling the issue. Then uh, there's not a lot which, which we can do. Uh, but, but one of the big sins uh, within banking situation, and that is true in Denmark as well as in other countries, is that if you haven't told the supervisor uh, the truth. We, we don't know whether that's the case here, but, but that's a big issue because as a supervisor, you are enormously reliant on uh, that institution you tell, uh, you supervise, tell you the truth. Uh, and that's why when, when you, when you okay. have issues popping up in relation to that, uh, uh, the uh, uh, steps uh, which could be taken are quite draconian, including uh, 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 police investigations and possible prison sentences. OK. Do you believe this bank has enough capital uh, to prepare for any penalties and, and uh, that they may face. Are you happy with the capital level at Danska? Yes, we are. I mean, this is, this is not a capital level issue. Uh, uh, this is a consumer affairs issue. Uh, so it's, in, it's serious okay. in a different dimension than capital. Danske Bank CEO is asking for a joint response um, investigating the money laundering, including those from Denmark and the US. Can you update us on that? Uh, yeah, the, the story goes back again many years. Uh, the new management uh, has uh, started a process in, in terms of handling these issues. Uh, uh, money laundering, uh, the fine levels are potentially more serious, but both in Denmark and the U.S., mm -hmm. uh, there are limits so that you do not want to endanger an institution solvency in relation to these issues. Uh, the bank has set aside uh, uh, pretty substantial funds in relation to paying the fine. Uh, 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 I'm sure discussions are going on with various institutions in Denmark and the U.S. in, in relation to settling that issue. Uh, and, and clearly, as a supervisor, uh, we can only look forward to that issue being put behind us.